Let's talk about medial thigh muscles. We're going to identify the muscles of the medial thigh, think adductors, including primary actions and innervation. So here we have our uh, five medial thigh muscles, or muscles that make up the medial compartment of the thigh. Our three adductors, the gracilis and this obturator externus, which I'm not going to be focusing so much in this lecture. First, the adductor longus. It gets its name because out of the three adductors, it seems to be long, hence the name. It arises from the pubic bone, and then it uh, courses at an oblique angle down to attach on the back of the femur on the linea aspera. There's our adductor longus. Then our adductor brevis gets its name because it's shorter. It also arises from the pubic bone and courses down to attach on the back of the femur on the linea aspera. And then our adductor magnus, it gets its name because it's really big. It's going to come off the ischium, and this muscle is going to course down from the ischium and part of the pubis, and course down, uh, so there's pubic and ischium there, and then going to course down all along the linea aspera on the back of the femur, as well as this little bump on the medial part of the femur called the adductor tubercle. And because it's got that space between the linea aspera attachment and the adductor tubercle, there's an opening that's called the adductor hiatus, which means opening. So the adductor hiatus is significant because if we look at this left, uh, this view of the left uh, thigh, there's our femoral artery, and this femoral artery courses down. And to get to the back of the knee in the popliteal fossa where the femoral artery is a continue, the femoral artery continues as the popliteal artery on the back of the knee. It courses through this adductor hiatus, and that's how it gets to the back of the knee to become the popliteal artery. So the femoral artery and vein both go through that, called the adductor hiatus. The adductor magnus is also interesting because like the biceps femoris, it has dual innervation, where that black line represents where that distinction is, where the part of the adductor magnus that attaches to the linea aspera, that's innervated by the obturator nerve. And the part that arises from the pubis and goes down to the adductor tubercle, that's innervated by the tibial nerve. So that division sometimes called the hamstring division of the adductor magnus because it's going to be innervated by the tibial nerve, much like the hannies. And then our gracilis muscle, gracile, which means slender. It's this very thin, slender muscle that arises from the pubis, courses all the way down, it goes medial to the tibial tuberosity, and it's part of the pes serenus. And the obturator externus arises from the external surface of the obturator membrane, courses behind the hip joint to go to the greater trochanter, and this is an external rotator of the hip. And there is our five medial thigh muscles, and something that many of these muscles have in common is they all uh, attach, or many of them have attachments to the linea aspera on the back of the femur, that's why it's dotted, as well as its innervation. These adductor muscles all have the same, uh, oh, the action first, so primarily, Ooh. there's the going to hip adduct, the um, going to cause hip adduction. So here we've got when these muscles contract, they bring the thighs in as in hip adduction. There's their primary action together, these medial thigh muscles. And then they also have a very, and they all have a common uh, innervation. These medial thigh muscles are innervated by the obturator nerve. And so we're going to focus on this um, lumbar plexus and then focus on the L2, 3, and 4 levels of the spinal cord. And those motor neurons arrive in the ventral horn, send their axons out to form the obturator nerve, which innervate the medial thigh muscles. And to focus on these adductors, let's take a look at the L3 level. And that's why that L3 myotome, which causes adduction of the hip, that's why the obturator nerve bringing innervation to these medial thigh muscles is heavy in the L3 level. All right, so the medial thigh muscles in a nutshell. Here we have our adductors, the medial compartment thigh muscles that are innervated by the obturator nerve, heavy on the L3 level, that are going to mostly attach to the linea aspera, and they're going to cause hip adduction.